Using photos is a great way to tell a story. I'm going to put a video clip on the timeline, but I'm only going to put the audio. To do that, I select my video clip, I tap on the three dots, and I put the waveform with a plus. This will put my audio on my timeline. Now I can't see anything because it's just sound. If I want to put pictures or photos to go in addition to this audio, I can tap on photos, I can choose my photos that I want to use, and simply tap these. Now notice when I put one photo in, it changed the duration of my sound to match the length of the photo. I can put in a couple of photos and notice how it continues to grow in between each photo. Now as I put these photos in, I notice something else. If you play through the video or if you look at it, you can see that the pictures are actually moving. Now the pictures themselves aren't moving, they're still photographs. But what has happened is iMovie has applied something called the Ken Burns effect, which essentially takes the photo and moves it from one place to another. But it does it automatically. If you want to control how the photos are, con are moved in iMovie, all you have to do is simply tap on a photo. When it has the yellow handles around it, it gives you the options to edit it. Now, if you notice, up here it says pinch to position the start. That's where your photo is going to start. So I can actually pinch and I can change where my photo is going to start. I'm going to have it start there. If I tap on the arrow pointing to the right to the line, oops, if you unselect it, simply tap on your photo again, change it to where it says pinch to position to end. This time I want it to focus on the eagle. So it's going to be zooming in on this eagle. Now I can scroll through here if you need to change the duration of your picture simply select a, a picture and click on one of the handles tap on one of the handles and drag this will lengthen out the duration of your picture if your picture is too long simply tap on the handle the yellow bar and drag it to shorten the time the picture is in there. By doing this you can have more control on how long your pictures are at and what your pictures look like. If I wanted to have this picture simply pan across and see the eagle, what I could do is go to the start position and I'm going to pinch to zoom in on the eagle, except I'm going to slide it off a little bit so the eagle's out of the view. Now I'm going to pinch or tap on the triangle pointing to the line and this time I'm going to zoom out and just simply drag my finger where I want the eagle to be. So I'll move it there. I can go and I can preview and I can see the picture follows the direction that I gave it. 